Well, hello guys, and welcome back to another Rick and Morty review. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at Season 1, Episode 8, Rick City Minutes. Let's just get right into it. So it starts off, Rick, they're watching TV, they're watching like The Bachelor or something, and Rick is like, this is fucking stupid, breaks their TV box, and puts this crystal on it that gives them intergalactic television. If they want to watch it, they can, because they now have basically infinite channels. Right? There, it's a simple setup. We see them watch, there's a bunch of different shows. Early on, we see a guy eating shit. We see these quick mysteries where it's like, it's like a 10 second mystery. Right? But, eventually, we set up a B plot. Now, there, there are, there's an A plot and a B plot. I'm going to try, I'm going to be focusing on the B plot because the A plot is just all their different commercials and whatnot. I'll spend a little time on them, but it's not that big. It's not why it's it's funny, but it's only half the episode. And I kind of usually I'm gung ho about spoilers. Oh, I don't give a shit. Here, here are all the spoilers. I'm actually gonna save you from spoilers for this one because they're they're funny, right? It's all really creative, really funny, right? But let's talk about the B-plot. So while flipping through TV, they see Jerry on the TV, who's like an actor. He's in Cloud Atlas. Movie I never actually saw. Was that the Wachowskis? I feel like that was the Wachowskis. But eventually, Rick gives them these inter these interdimensional goggles that allow them to see themselves in other realities. Okay? All right, it's a simple setup for this B-plot. Um, Morty and Rick end up staying behind watching TV. We get some ludicrous commercials. We get one, like, it's like two brothers, and it just keeps going. They're fighting Mexicans. They're fighting old ladies. It just keeps going and going. And that's where we discover how these commercials work. It's all improvisation, right? They even say it within the episode, but especially here and in a future one, it's very obvious that these things are improv because at the end, they break out into laughter, right? They left in the laughter after the take. It's, it's actually an interesting way to do it, right? All these commercials are improv. They probably just had some simple ideas and then they just like said whatever came to their mind and ended up creating these like elaborate, really fucking stupid commercials that are really funny. There's a few that I think are actually like scripted, but for the most part, I just think they just went off the cuff, said whatever they could, right? And yeah, it makes for some really interesting ones. They're not all great. But for the most part, right? So over in the B over in the B plot, we see Summer, right? We see Rick we see Summer <laughs> Summer, Jerry, and Beth. Uh Jerry's an actor, right? Oh, he's this famous actor doing cocaine with Johnny Depp. Beth is an actual surgeon instead of a horse surgeon. And in all realities where, like, they're successful, Summer is doesn't exist. Because she was... It, where, whenever they're happy, Summer was never born. Okay. Eventually, we do find out that the reason for this is because Jerry talked Beth out of the abortion. And in a universe where that happens... They end up becoming rich and famous. This upsets Summer, right? Um, she basically says she's gonna run away, cause yeah, that's pretty fucked up. This entire ep, the entire B plot is kind of fucked up. Um, cause yeah, their marriage is oh my god, cause they're like, oh, we could have had it so much better, but instead we had kids and gave away our happiness, right? We we see it back at the A plot. We get a uh, we get a few more jokes. We get ball fondlers, which is a recurring theme throughout the show. I'm surprised they've never actually made like a ball fondlers episode or like a short like a five minute short, which is supposed to like be an entire episode of ball fondlers. It just it seems so obvious. We also get a gazorpazorp field, which is. It's Garfield, but it's Gazorpazorp. It's a callback to the previous episode. They are very, very not subtle about this. They also explain the whole Lorenzo music, Bill Murray thing. And at the end of the Gazorpazorp field, 
he talks about enchiladas. And if you listen at the, in the very last word where he says enchiladas, you can hear them break out into laughter. Barely. It's again, these are all improv. It's really cool. I, I like how it does. They do it. And it's clear they had a bunch of ideas, right? They just, they had a bunch of ideas through what, through literally everything at the wall. And these are probably some of their best. There is another, um, Rick City Minutes episode. And I'm assuming that's just some more. This is, I kind of hope this becomes a, even though we're, we're two seasons in, about to start, well, we've kind of already started a third. I hope this becomes like a running theme per season. Because it, it is creative. This allows the show to do whatever it wants. No limitations. Well, as long as it fits within the animation budget. But we cut back to the B-plot, and we see Beth and Jerry, and they're basically like, yeah, we're gonna get a divorce. Because their life just isn't good. Because, <laughs> yeah, their because they say it, their marriage is... Most people have to wonder, is their marriage held together by love or by force? They know for a fact their marriage is held together by force. We see Summer trying to run away, right? Because she's going to run off to the Southwest and do something with turquoise, which is... Uh, if you're heading out to the Southwest, I mean, like, that's one thing to do. Was that was that the BoJack Horseman? Did she do something with turquoise? You know who I'm talking about. The one who lives up near Santa Fe. Was that? I don't remember. But Morty confronts her and is like... You, you shouldn't run away because this life may suck, but it's what you have. We're all going to die. Enjoy it while you can. And he points out to their graves. That is us. We died. It's fucked up, but God damn it, it's so well done. This is what the, they, the A plot, right? It's funny. The B plot is serious and it's well done. This moment in a moment we'll get to here in a few seconds, they're all great, right? It's very dark, and it helps establish this bond between Summer and Morty that we will see in future episodes. It's it's great, right? It, <laughs> what can I say? We eventually we see Jerry and um, Rick watching TV, and there's this Weekend at Dead Cat Ladies 2, which is directed by um, Jerry... And yeah, <laughs> God, it's it's Weekend at Bernie's. That, that, well, that's one of the many movie tie-ins in this one. But eventually, they they're flipping channels and they see Jerry on a riding mower, all drugged up, running to God knows where. We see Beth drinking wine, right, enjoying her life as an actual surgeon. When the two plots combine. The other world, Beth, and the other world, Jerry, end up meeting up, right? Because he admits that, oh, that was the biggest mistake in my life was convincing you to have the abortion. And yeah, they've rekindled their marriage for now. It's it's a really well done scene. Whenever the show pulls out music, like not like a soundtrack, but like an actual song, you know th they're doing something great, right? This is going to be a great scene. And this is a great scene. It's really well done. It's using interdimensional ideas for a single dimensional, right? For To relate back to their dimension. Great. And that's where the episode ends, right? Great. But there isn't the end credit scene, which there throughout the episode on the TV, we see like different clips of like these hamsters and butts. And eventually, and they're like, Rick's like, you know, screw it. You want to know so much about these stupid butt hamsters. Let's go to the butt hamster world. So they go to the butt hamster world as basically a vacation to learn about butt hamsters. It's really funny, right? It's, it's great. This entire episode is great. There's a lot I left out. So if you want to know what that is, Go check out the episode. It is definitely worth it. But with all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.